Hi guys, uh, I'm Matthias Rosenzweig. I'm a writer and of course a huge fan of Melanie's like everybody here. Thank you all so much for coming out. Thank you to YouTube for hosting us. Um, we're not gonna waste a lot of time here and sort of just get straight into it. Our first guest is a fine perfumer um, who's worked with Adidas, Victoria's Secret, um, tons of iconic brands and now of course is working with Melanie Martinez. Uh, please welcome out Catherine Segel. Uh, our second guest le needs little to no introduction. Um, she's who we're all here for today. Her first album is Certified Gold. She has over 600 million streams on YouTube, a sold out worldwide tour. Please, everyone, welcome Melanie Martinez. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys both so much for coming. Thank you again to everybody. Um, we're gonna start off just talking a little bit about the perfume and getting to know everyone a little bit better. So, starting with Catherine, um, can you tell us a little bit about what it means to be a nose when you're working in perfume and how you got started in that? Okay, yes. So I have to mention my grand-grandfather was called Meinrad Radilfiger, who was a master perfumer in 1900, so a very long time ago, so I had uh, the chance to irritate his gift to have an extraordinary ability of smelling and capturing the essence of um, my clients, the people I work with, to transmit it into a fragrance. So for me to be a nose means to be able to capture someone's soul and to transmit it into a fragrance. Interesting. Sounds uh, complicated, possibly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Could yes. be not easily done. Um, Melanie's field of work is obviously completely different, um, but also similar in ways. You make music for our ears, you make visuals for our eyes, and now you have a fragrance for our noses. Why did you decide to sort of go into this new venture? Um, I think it was, it's really just like, it came kind of after writing the record, I kind of felt like it was just necessary to have like a perfume that kind of went along with it, just like as a part, just like the you know, music videos help tell the story, I feel like. It was just an extra piece to it that kind of made sense to me. So I don't know. I'm hoping, hopefully, I can like do this again for whatever next record I make to like make something that makes sense with the music and the visuals as yeah. well. Yeah, and play with new sensory yeah, whatever it is. Totally. Um, and then I'm also curious how you two actually started working together on the perfume and what it's been like for you to be working with Melanie um, in general. So you first. So it was a great experience for me, both professionally and personally, because uh, with knowing Melanie, we spend time together. I, we, I send fragrances all over the world in your concert that you smell. We, we go back and forth with comment and reworking. It was really a, a, a deep collaboration. So um, it, uh, I, I, I met a very uh, dedicated, hardworking young woman with extraordinary ability, we were very gifted, so, and you know exactly what you want, which is fantastic for me. So it was a very, very nice work. I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, we're both perfectionists. So it was, <laughs> it was kind of, we're going well together, it clicked. So it was a great experience. Yeah, it sounds perfect. And for you? Amazing. I mean, she's incredible and obviously the most professional knows that I, you know, I'm just very grateful that, you know, you wanted to work with me on this, like, for real. Thank you so much. Because this is something that was pretty new for you. So yeah, you really I mean, I've never made a perfume you. before, obviously, so, it, you know, it's all very new to me and, you know, I just wanted to have fun and, you know, make something that people would enjoy, but also, like, I could wear and like to wear and right. I, I love it. But, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, I know that also a big part of this was you were going to a lot of Melanie's shows, you know, watching her videos, listening to the music, and I think that plays into what you were talking about at first of like, you know, really creating a concept. Yes. Um, so can you talk to us about how her work and you know, everything that you've seen sort of inspired what the fragrance ultimately ended up smelling like and being presented as? So for me, the most important moment when, when I had the chance to see your concert live in uh, New York City, because when you see the videos, they're very professional, they're great, they're 
perfect and, and so I was really impressed. And after when I saw you live, I, I kind of um, discover you know your personality and that you have a fragility too and <laughs> like it's a contrast it's very contrasted with sparkle joy and a bit of darkness and so it was very <laughs> interesting because it was it was a point when I, I knew what I could show you and how we could collaborate together so it was very very important so I discovered I kind of have the feeling I could see a little bit of your soul and be able <laughs> to put it in uh, very interesting by the way uh, I can tell you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I'm also curious, I mean, so this is something that's new to me too and that I also don't know. So I have a lot of terms that I don't understand and maybe you could help define for us. Okay. Um, so, um, I mean, just I guess in general, when it comes to building these perfumes, not getting into like the specific elements of anything, but I guess what the, the process is and where you start off when you're trying to tackle something like this. So, um, we, I cannot say everything because it's secret, as well, you know? <laughs> and you will never know the secret formula. <laughs> Only Melanie and me know it, and this is like you know secret. top secret, yeah, exactly. Top secret. So we, let me see what I can say. <laughs> so we just met each other and smelled uh, like 40 different fragrances, yeah. and we had to choose because a fragrance had to be technically as well. You know, it has to have a top note, middle note, and dry down that I will explain a little bit later when we we'll go to more the technical part. So, so we had to choose really a part like, or you build a building. So really um, different kind of ingredient, which is three. And we decided to do something that was never done. And we decided to choose a fourth ingredient to the fragrance that you will discover as well later. Let's play with the suspense. And it was a very, very smooth process because you, you have a great sense of smell and you were very able to express yourself and you exactly what you want. So it was really yes, no, this, yeah. no, <laughs> so it's very good. So um, this is how, how, we, how we did that with, um, I, I use like ingredients that nobody knows, but we were speaking about emotion and what you want to transcribe and it has to be your fragrance and as well the album, so a part of your personality and as well a part of, yeah. exactly. So this is how, how we, but it's very secret, so yeah. <laughs> we have to wait, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> to get the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then for you, um, how did you decide upon, I guess, the final you know, scent, which was something you obviously collaborated on, um, but when did it sort of strike a chord, okay, like this is the one that I want and even then the next step, which goes into packaging, and this is how I want to present it to the world. Well, the packaging, I like, it all started from the idea of just like wanting to make like a vintage inspired baby bottle. Originally the idea was like it to be, you know, I was messing with it, the idea of it being like a clear bottle so you could see the actual like white perfume inside of it, because that was like the whole point, you know? Um, and I don't know, I, it just like, power shovel, like, you know, like, they're seriously incredible and like they you know had like a lot of different designs that they had fleshed out and um, one of them in particular was like a you know all white like vintage like very like retro inspired baby bottle but it wasn't clear so like I was like you know I want to see the like white milky perfume inside and so um, we thought to put the panel in the back which can show the like actual perfume inside of it. Um, so, you know, I don't know, I like knew exactly that I wanted it to say like, you know, the, the fuck off on the top of the, the nozzle and stuff. <laughs> I, I just like, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun and like really was just experimenting and collaborating and having fun. It was, yeah. But it, I mean, it still sounds like you did go into it with a pretty strong vision. I knew that of I wanted it to be wanted. a baby bottle that you know you'd, you'd screw it off and that there would be a white milky perfume in it that would smell sweet and nostalgic. Yeah. Yeah. That was the general, yeah. Cool. Um, I think also, I mean, sort of in everything that you do, you really do it your own way. You know, like you're really an anomaly in the pop world and not necessarily functioning in the ways that other artists would. And I think one of the biggest things you're doing, for example, with this perfume is you're selling it exclusively through your site um, as opposed to maybe teaming up with anybody else. Um, can you talk to me about that choice of only wanting to do it that way and really, um, you know, hitting your fans? I mean, it just made sense to me. Like, why not just put out a perfume for people to get, like, from me to them? Like, it makes more, I don't know. I have no idea. It just makes <laughs> sense. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's more personal that way. And like I said, it was really supposed to be just like a piece of the album and like the visuals and stuff. So it's just like an extra kind of part of my music. Like, it's... I wanted it to be personal. Yeah. yeah, and it all comes together kind of really yeah. nicely in the end. Um, 
I know that we have a couple of questions from lucky fans um, in the audience that we're going to run through um, for Melanie. So um, first, we have a question from Aaron in the audience. Oh, sorry. Here he is. <laughs> well, my question is, what was your inspiration behind the commercial for the perfume bottle? The commercial was a, you know, I, I feel like it was kind of like, I just wanted to express the going from uh, Crybaby's, you know, vulnerable kind of like emotional state to like her feeling like confident and comfortable all by like the perfume kind of like you know, helping her. I don't know what, it was really just like a random, like on the fly, like during like a shoot, like wanting to just make an extra kind of like bit of visual for this perfume. So it's kind of just like in the moment, fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's a really bad explanation. I apologize. <laughs> uh, we have a couple other questions. You can introduce yourself and ask. Janelle's. Hi. And my question is, will there be more perfumes? Maybe. Maybe in the future. <laughs> Maybe in the future. That'd be really fun, yeah. Ideally, it's something you'd like to yes, do Yes, I would, I would definitely like to hopefully make one for like every album, even. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Hi, I'm Erin, and I want to know if you ever thought you'd be able to make your own perfume? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm very grateful and happy that I get to do this. It's very fun for me. Um, so my question, I'm Holly. Um, my question is, when you first started gaining popularity in the music industry, did you see yourself venturing into real the retail aspect of the business? And would you ever consider doing a crybaby clothing line? Um, I, like I said, it was kind of just like a random thought that I had after writing the record. I just knew that I wanted to make a perfume with it um, that like fit it perfectly. So um, I don't know, like, I mean, I, I love obviously like, I love wearing clothes. So like, it'd be fun to make clothes. <laughs> I don't know, it'd be fun one day, hopefully. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Hi, I'm Summer. Um, I wanted to know what was your favorite part about making this fragrance? Um, working with this lovely woman and, um, and Power Shovel, just, it was really just like a really fun collaborative process and I, I feel very grateful and happy, yeah. There's like a common theme here of uh, people wanting more. <laughs> it's either a clothing line or another perfume <laughs> or something. Everybody just can't get enough of it. Um, so we're also going to have actually a demonstration that these two are going to give us into what actually goes into making this perfume here at this lovely portable lab station that we have set up. Um, so we can go ahead and head over. Cool. Yes. Hopefully I don't trip because this dress is so <laughs> long. <laughs> Um, so, Catherine, this is definitely where you can kind of go into more detail yes. about everything we were talking about before and the various elements that go into this. Yes, we are going to deep dive in the secret of the formula a little bit. So this is like a laboratory, small version of it, huh? because uh, we ha you have all the ingredients. We had like, we can use like un between 1,000 to 1,500 ingredients. So we chose some of them with Melanie. And um, the fragrance uh, has to be traditionally composed of three accords. The top note, the middle note, and the dry down. So the top note is what you smell instantaneously. Sorry, when you spray, you smell it straight away. And after, after first a few impression. first impression, exactly, which is very important. It's like when you fall in love, very important. So <laughs> second part, no, it's true. Uh, I hope you will fall in love with the fragrance, by the way. But <laughs> second, uh, after you have the heart of the fragrance, after a few minutes, it's come to the heart of the fragrance, and the dry down is what when you put it on the skin, like Melody. Did it on her neck in, uh, in, in the commercial. In the commercial it was absolutely great. It's very good to put on the neck, by the way. It's, good it's a good good placement for perfume. Exactly, exactly. It was, it was perfect. And a lot to put a lot is good too. <laughs> so um, the dry down is what lingers on your skin and what you can smell after a few hours. So this is the surprise part. This is what you discover with time. So the mysterious part of it. And because Melanie and I we didn't want to do something like everybody, so we decided to put a fourth part in the fragrance 
uh, which represents a childhood memory. And this is the, the strawberry milk accord that we put. So the top note is around baby lotion. It's a vintage idea of a baby lotion. The heart of the flower is Melanie's lipstick. So I'll let you imagine what it can be. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the dry down, so the last part, uh, are made of woods, dark woods. So it's all about... Uh, creating a milk, so how can we do that? So I will let Melanie um, demonstrate us how this can transform itself. Oh yes, how it turns into the milk. Well, so, okay, so, open it for you. sorry if this is the most painfully awkward demonstration <laughs> ever. We're all learning. I'm like shaking, <laughs> like literally. Okay, is this enough? Yes. Okay. So you put a little, little something something in there, <laughs> and it turns white, and we got your milk. Et voilà. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> cool. Oh, I didn't know if you were <laughs> doing a double. If we're making both, but uh, no, it worked. So it we're worked. Yeah, we're, we're, happy. Happy. we're not taking any more chances. Um, uh, thank you for demonstrating that for us and showing <laughs> us this is actually how it's made, everything that you guys will be wearing. Well, and do you put, do you want to put these in? Like the, is that like, or is this, hold on. Are we adding more? <laughs> Are we adding more? <laughs> <laughs> so what, um, yes. <laughs> this is the four accords we have here that we just spoke about. Yes. And uh, this is all the, some of the ingredients that we have in the formula, so it's far away, you cannot see everything because everything is always secret. So yes, it's interesting, so this like, basically the whole formula, it's cut into four parts. And when we put all of them together, you get the fragrance. And this is what is mixing in the lab here. You can smell it from here, oh, I, don't, I don't know if you can no, smell okay. it, but <laughs> maybe you can. <laughs> so. But ultimately, it's like, it involves all of us. Yes. It's that complicated. Yes. Got it, so it really is a process. Exactly. Yeah. So if, if you um, have the chance to get a fragrance and to smell it, so great thing is you can try and pick and discover what is inside of it because we're not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. Yes, exactly. Um, I know that Melanie actually has another surprise for everybody here, so I'm going to let her take it away, show us what she's up to. Okay, okay, okay. Um, should I just... Go over there, or should I stay here? Okay. Sorry, cameraman. I apologize. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm really nervous right now because this is like a big moment for me because it's, you know, I've worked very hard uh, on this video and I'm excited to share it with you guys. It's for Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy it, um, and I hope it, you know, I, I hope you connect with it in any way that you do, and just thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. So much.